What's up, guys? It's me, Aesthetic Logarithm again, back for a new episode. We're on episode three of the Concordia server. So these are the. This is the plan for these episodes. We're probably gonna put some use to the to the area that Laura helped us find with the ocean and stuff. And we're probably gonna make a pumpkin farm, as well as I might decide to finish the iron farm which I kind of gave up on because villages are very annoying and that's kind of not a surprise <laughs> we're also going to gather resources for an experimentation on the the base overall and the base is going to be inside inside the mountain and so that we have a bit more creativity to deal with and we don't really have to do much with the exterior other than changing the palette from gray to just gray and black or just black and here is the dimensions kind of dug through to make sure where I needed to go and so this area and so this area is 52 blocks long from here to there and the only issue is that when digging out over here some parts are 43 uh, blocks long 43 blocks long while other parts are going to be somewhere from 50 to like 57 or 8 blocks unless i'm wrong i don't have food it says here that the it's only 50 blocks wide with the longest point of where i want to really start getting a room and so i believe the only plan is to dig this whole place out so that i have a nice box to, to work with and divide the area so that i can experiment and maybe give different uh, vibes in a, in a weird way so to make this a bit more fun we're going to get some more resources I'm a bit low on diamonds and I kind of want to get netherite so that we can start a bit of uh, messing around and get some efficiency too so while we're at it we I'm gonna do a quick time lapse and that's and then we're going to move on with the rest of the episode. Alright, we're going to do something a bit different. So, there's this... I'm pretty sure everyone knows about this this intentional game design by Mojang. It's where we... If you sleep in the nether, you you get blown up. So we're going to use that to our advantage. And go to Y15, I believe, is the level for netherite. And we're going to blow up huge holes so that we, we we get more lucky finding netherite and while we're at that I feel like the best and the easiest way to, to get this done is to make a wool farm so we're only gonna do some breeding so that we get some 12 to 20 sheep so that we can start gathering resources like wood and whatnot while the baby sheep grow up and we can make this a bit quicker that was easier than I thought. I already have one in. I mean, these, if you bribe them with, with wheat, anything's really easy. <sighs> if only villagers could be bribed with wheat. Now let's see. Like here, come here, come here, come here. And then you're trapped. You have nowhere to go. And then we just let you breed for a bit. I shear one of you. I have enough for a carpet. Perfect. Also, thing if you guys want to know, look at that. No fence gate needed. Boom. Okay, so while we're here, I may as well start digging out the, the area of where I plan on making the villager breeder now that I want to make it underground. Because that right there took too long. And I believe... And I believe that there's one villager already up there, but the, they're not really useful anymore if they're being up, if they're up there. So while I do that, I'm gonna go get some resources, some wood, and get some sticks. And while I'm at that, I'll be right back after I get the after I get my sticks. Okay, so while I was getting sticks, I made a friend. Don't know what to name that dog. Don't have a name tag either, so I can't really do anything for now. What should I name him in the chance that we get the 
The name tag. It looks adorable. Look at that. I read. I read the answer down in the comments. Don't get near my. Don't get near my dog. Phil. Okay. I think I have enough wood. I've stack and a half for enough sticks. I'm not sure what for yet. Most of them will be to make some bows. I. Uh, all that stuff is that I need more string. And I don't really think that killing spiders would be the faster way. So I've resorted that I'm going to go barter with piglins so that I can get them quicker. Hopefully this shouldn't take too long. Now I'll be right back. I forgot my gold. I forgot my gold. See, this is how you're, you can become a smooth brain. After having 111 kills. Most of them were my fault, and the majority of them are just me going down, falling down the stairs. Okay, now I can start partnering. Bye-bye. Finally found one. Took a while. So I'm just going to okay, distract. There, now. Just, just, just. We'll figure it out. We'll wait. No. Blackstone? Nice. String. Gravel. One string. String. No. We need to make this place look a bit functional. I have enough. I have enough string now for about eight dispensers. So that way we can shear eight sheep. And. It shouldn't make the make the way for the bed that long. That's gonna be a really good thing. Now that we have those amount of sheep, we have that much sheep right there. We can wait a bit more. We just need to quadruple double that, and then we're good. Now after that, after I make the machines, I also want to make it look nice, and I also want to make it a bit expensive so that if need be, I can just add some more sheep there and. We wouldn't have to worry about breaking the, down the whole building and then building it up again a bit bigger. I want, if anything, I want to make it tall so that I can just move the sheep up instead of down. That way we can give it a... That way we don't have to break down the sides because that's going to take a lot, a lot longer to do. We can always build up. Okay, I'm just going to do this for a bit. Okay, that's enough. We have enough. We have 35 wheat. That is pretty good. That's a good amount. That should get us. I think that should be. That's more than enough. And we can also have some extra bread if if we need to. But I don't think so. We get. We have these potato little farms. Now this is the little complicated bit. Because bows don't stack, it's going to be a lot more, it's going to take a lot, a little bit longer to make them. So now we have the dispenser there, we can just do droppers. Put a dispenser, dispenser, like that. Takes a bit of time. It's kind of annoying, hopefully that in the future they kind of, they update this. And look at that, nine, nine dispensers. We can have nine sheep now. Perfect. This will make the 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 wolf farm go a bit quicker than than planned. Now I just need to experiment. And see if placing an observer facing a grass block will create some sort of redstone, some kind of kind of redstone signal. So let's see that that observer under this dispenser should power this redstone block which thus should power the dispenser. So let's see. I'm gonna till it. Perfect. Yeah. Yep. That's perfect. That works. Okay. We're pretty close. I think, okay, I need to make sure what I need. Powered rails. We need powered rails. I've read some blocks. I may as well bring some more iron, make some more hoppers. Alright, we're here. Now we're going to find power rails.
Power Dray, let's do, okay, dirt. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. We're pretty close. <clears throat> okay, so this is what we found. We got some more stuff. Got some glass panes. We have enough to make this. It's enough to make this functional farm. After a while, we should be able to get enough wool for, I'd say about a full inventory of beds. Alright, we we're going to build this. It'll be a quick, it'll be a quick time lapse. Right. And after that time lapse, we're going to get the first foundation of it ready. And see you in a bit. Okay, so, all right, so since we're waiting for that to happen, we get the six stacks. We may as well start carving out the area for the, for the iron farm. Just gotta find the right things. Don't have, don't need shovels, but I doubt that's an issue. All right, so this part will just be a simple time lapse. In the meantime, I'll see you after we get most of this out. So we have the time lapse, now we're going to see how much wool we've collected and after that we're gonna we're gonna go mine some netherite. That's gonna help out and I have a guess that we're gonna find some I th I'm guessing we're gonna find about tw at least fifteen netherite ingots. Well no nether scrap netherite scraps. Okay, I heard a click. We already have enough. Boom. Three stacks of wool. Now I just need 48 logs. And I think we're fine after that. I'm not going to craft the bed until I I have my... Well, until I get to Y15 and, and the nether. Okay, now I'm just going to take the crafting table. 
I'm gonna take the crafting table and then get some sticks. Alright, well, we're on our way down. We're gonna get some. Hopefully, some other ring. I'm, I'm gonna try to see how much space I can save. I wanna keep my my inventory, the 27 blocks. Uh, the 27 item thing. <clears throat> the 27 item thing relatively empty. So that I can make as many beds as possible at a, at a single time. I'm just gonna have to make it to Y15. It's gonna be it's gonna take a while. Oh my god! How did that happen? Oh no. Well, we're back here now. And I don't have any more diamond tools. So, we're just gonna go mining. We're just gonna go get some diamonds. Okay, we're just gonna go mining. Okay, we're just gonna go uh, mining, get some diamonds. We only have enough for two pickaxes, so I have to make the most out of it. I might as well get some cobblestone so that I can use those instead of instead of actual instead of instead of the iron pickaxe, so that I can just strip mine at Y twelve. I have to find the lowest point though; it's gonna take forever. I hurt. I spent two hours collecting the the wool, and uh, and all for that, all for that. I don't even have a crafting bench anymore. Five some pickaxes. Now we're just gonna go down. Wait, I think I have potatoes somewhere. That's gonna be a very nice clip of my death, right there on YouTube. Okay, we're on our way now. We just gotta find the lowest point possible. Oh god, I got scared, I got I got scared, I heard, I heard a creeper, oh there you are, look at you. Oh god! Alright. No, these, these monsters are ruthless. These monsters are ruthless, I, I need to end them. Okay, we're getting luck, we're getting a bit too lucky with this. Oh no, the water caught me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We can make it down all the way. This place right here is scary, man. Okay, we're just gonna light the place up as much as possible. Okay, so now we're here, we're just gonna strip mine. See how lucky we can get. We're at Y10, so we're facing the Y11 block. And I'll let you know how, how we turn out after the after we start mining so see you in a couple in a couple hours so i know how i said i was gonna well wait there for half an hour i waited there for an extra hour uh something broke down i'm not too sure what happened but other than that it seemed that everything was pretty functional so here yeah this is how it all works The observer, it doesn't seem that it's pretty compact and you can get a lot out of it. One of the older models I one of the older versions I used for this for the type of farm was a bit slow. So uh, yeah, in the span of an hour or so I managed to managed to get almost two stacks of pumpkins. So I'd say this is pretty successful so far. However, I do need to make an off switch so that so that if 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 something were were to happen, or you know what, just to keep the uh, lag uh, from happening, so I need to think of a, of an off switch. But I'll figure that out eventually. I'll figure out how to make an off switch. So yeah, this is the model I'm gonna use, and after that, we're gonna see if we have enough time to to finish the base.
or to excavate the whole thing. Okay, so we're gonna get the pumpkin farm going, and I'm just gonna collect some some leaves so that uh, I can cover up the water bucket so that I don't have any mobs spawning where I don't want to. So it's gonna help a lot. I'm just gotta just kind of lagging a lot, so the lag's gonna the lag's not much help. So I'm kind of scared of how it's gonna be when when I make this a thing. Oh. Floating boat. <laughs> I'm a floating boat. I'm a floating boat in, in my natural habitat. This is probably what happened to the missing sailors. They probably had an invis potion. Now they're scaring people for fun. Okay, so we're on our way to the ocean. God. Alright, we're about to make it to the ocean. So this is phase one of the project. Luckily I have enough wood to last me a bit. Okay, so we're gonna be here for about two hours. After that, we're gonna we're gonna trade we're gonna trade for some mending books. And once we're done, I'll I'll see if I have enough time to some of the excavation for the office or like the area I wanna I wanna build. So we'll find out. All right, see you guys in about an hour, in an hour. Okay, so we're finished. We spent AFK for about. I believe two hours or an hour and a, three hours and a half. Let's see. Look at that. A whole nine stacks. Alright, now we'll be on our merry way back. We'll trade with the villagers and see how much we can get. Alright, we're back. So now I have pumpkins. I have to find the villager. And I saw one of them in the in the nether, so I'm guessing the other one is either dead or somewhere else. And I'm kind of scared it's the former. Okay, so we're just gonna kill some some piglins. We're gonna kill up some piglins, then we're gonna get uh, we'll have enough for for some golden apples. I need fortune though. Okay, that should be high enough. Let's see how many we can anger. That's awesome. Okay, so whoever did that, thank you. Thank you very much. Pumpkins, let's bro, one pumpkin for an emerald. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, I'm stacked. I need more of those villagers. They're gonna be my emerald farm. Alright, level 32, we're gonna trade these books and then get some Look at us, level 34 
super close to being able to, to trade. We just need to find the villager and get the get the other remaining bookshelves. And I can't seem to find the villager, so I'm kind of scared they went into the portal. All the sheep are suffering. Look at them. Now, do I regret this decision? Absolutely not. <coughs> oh god, I jumped on my spit. Okay. <laughs> I got a mob head. I got a mob head. Let's go. I'm gonna show. Well, I have to see. I have to see if I get if I get a hundred percent from you. Like if I kill you once. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay, go. Go. Got it. No, no, come here, come here. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Perish. It's fine. I didn't like that villager anyways. I want to see if it's 100% though. <gasps> Wait, it's 100%. It's 100%. <laughs> I got a head. <laughs> Look. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put myself in the chest. This swine. Okay, three, two. <laughs> no head. Really? Can I see? Oh, it has my hood. That's so cool. You got you got a crit. That's why. <laughs> God. Okay, look. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We're here. <laughs> just, just be, just be like Tae Young, Tae Young's on speed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go in, go in the overworld. <laughs> have okay, have this one. <laughs> okay, orange, get in the portal. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, we're just gonna wait until she gets there. Okay, here, here, here. I have this one. I'll put on this one. <laughs> okay, ready? Take off your armor. Take off your armor. <clears throat> ready? Come here. Shield off as well. Ready? Yes, we got his head. <laughs> we got his head. We got his head. Let's go. <laughs> so I can uh, return it. <clears throat> yeah, it's in the chest. <laughs> I just got... <laughs> I just got murked by the wither skeleton. <laughs> got my head back. Let's go. Screw you. No, you killed them. Oh my god. Okay, I'm on my way to zip space, so you can come check this out. <clears throat> I'm gonna go there in a bit. I just needed to make this decoration just so I can laugh at, at laugh at it every one now and again.
Okay, so this is the end of the video. We got most of this done. There's still like about half of it left to, left to excavate. But I'm kind of tired and I want to get this video out on as soon as possible. So this is where we'll end the video. We'll probably start off the next one by... This is the end of the video. If you guys li liked the video, consider subscribing. That'd be greatly appreciated. And... If you want to show support, like that smash button. Alright. Well, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.